my Capricorn. This is going to be your mid-April 2023 love reading. I miss y'all so much. I am Queen of Wands 1111. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm going to be getting into your love reading. We're going to take a peek at your partner and see what your partner's feelings and thoughts are right now. You guys like this video, subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on ALL. So you won't miss any readings that I do upload for you guys and you'll always be notified. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. So you may be at a distance from your person. You may not be talking to this person. Okay. Some of you are moving on and leaving this person behind. But I feel like they're not happy. They're in regret. They want to move away from the past. <clears throat> Excuse me. And move to a place of peace and calm waters with you. So you may be thinking, hey, should I move on from the past and just move on with my person? Or should I just move out, move away, and move on from the relationship? Let's see. You could be connected to an air sign. There's some travel here. This person may be wanting to come see you. This could be the parent of your child here. Baby mama, baby daddy. I feel like this is somebody you've walked away from. You're focusing on your money. Something is coming in for you really quickly here. And you're walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. I feel like you've walked away from someone who has secrets. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person keeps you in the dark about things. But I see that sometimes you find yourself looking back at the memories, the love, the time, the energy that was just left there, the plans that y'all made. I feel like you're all up in your feelings about that. And you could be hiding that. You could be hiding this, but... You walked away from someone that's keeping secrets. This person is definitely keeping secrets from you. Keeping things hidden from you. Keeping you in the dark about things. Could be a cancer. They still want you. Okay, but they're very codependent upon you. Some sort of way. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? For Capricorn. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? They don't want you to be single. The sun. Could be a Leo that you're connected to. This person is very happy with you. They love your energy. They love being around you. But I feel like something's about to be exposed here. It's very on and off, hot and cold, start and stop. It may start up, then stop again. Okay, you may be withholding sex from this person. Or this could just be like a false start that has happened between you two. Yeah, very on and off. Ace of Wands. You could be connected to a Leo, Aries, or a Sag. This person, I feel like they want to send you out some news or a message. This is good news, though, coming in for you guys. They want to reach out to you. They're finding the courage and the confidence to reach out to you, and they want to start small with small talk. Or they may be making you an offer. But I feel like they want to start something with you. Or you start with you. Yeah. Because you make them very happy. Okay. They feel like you are their emotional fulfillment. You could be married to this person. Y'all have kids together. But they want their marriage back. And I feel like they're willing to take a leap of faith towards you. I feel like they're just going to go and do it. They're going to throw fear and caution off into the wind. And they're just going to do it. I feel like a lot of you want something new though. With the fool. Yeah, Scorpio. This person is changing. You want them to change and I feel like it's coming in. This person is having an ego death and a spiritual awakening after some sort of ending here. Could be a Scorpio that you ended things with. What is this person's intentions? To apologize to you. But they have a lot of growing up to do. But they want to send you some love messages or news of love. Telling you how much they miss you. They love you. They want to apologize. And they want to reconcile with you. Page of Cups. This person is too focused on money though. Too, too focused on money. Their main focus is money. How they want love if they focus on money in their career. Okay. Let's see what else is coming through. But this is somebody that has been pretty dishonest in the recent past. This person may have done something unethical.
Yeah, there was some breadcrumbing going on here. Because they're so focused on their working career. So I feel like they were breadcrumbing you. Balancing things out between two. Could be you and your job or two different people. You and another person or something like that. I feel like you still have feelings for this person. You want balance here. You want an equal give and take. Okay. And I feel like you want this love to be reciprocated. What you give out, they give back. I feel like that's what you want. Okay. I feel like there are still feelings here that you and this person have for one another. But I'm also seeing a brand new beginning in love. Or well, this could be new love coming in for a lot of you. You're not over what this person did to you. Three of Swords. They hurt you. They betrayed you. I feel like you've had this encounter with them before. They caused a lot of pain, grief, and sorrow here. And I feel like the family and friends could have been meddling in you guys' relationship. Or this was a third-party situation that caused a separation. Yeah, look what wanted to flip. Seven of Swords. The World. The Two of Swords. Mm -hmm. You're ignoring your feelings that you have for this person. Or this person is ignoring their feelings that they have for you. I feel like both of you are hurt. You and your person. Your person was ignoring you. Two of Swords. They were refusing to see and acknowledge that they didn't know how to love. They didn't know how to give love. They didn't know how to perceive love. They didn't know how to do it in a relationship. And so this enabled them to be closed off, blocked off, and ignore you. This person was indecisive. And they were hurt because they were they torn between two relationships. Possibly for some of you. I feel like you got all the closure you need. Out of this person. This person is very sneaky. They're a liar. Deceptive. Manipulative. And they feel like they got away with with things. Okay. But I feel like this is somebody who you closed out a cycle with. In the recent past. And you may have been trying to escape. And get away from this person. Or travel at a distance from them. Capricorn. But this person feels like they can pull the wool over your eyes. They feel like they can underhand and undermine you. They felt like they were smarter than you. What happened with this travel? This person is stuck on you. Okay. I feel like this person is wanting to travel towards you, but you don't trust them. You don't trust them at all. So there is some stagnancy. There is some delays. This person is trying to hang on for their life. Could be a king of wands. Leo Aries Sagittarius. There's healing taking place here. And I feel like you tried to hold on for as long as you could. But well, this person is telling me they tried to hold on for as long as they could. They tried to be patient with you. But they're needing to plan or make a decision or a choice between two in order to heal something with you. They need to make a choice or decision, but they're feeling stuck between a rock and a hard place. Because they feel like with the Seven of Pentacles that you two invested too much time into this connection to give this up. And so I feel like they're wanting to plan to invest in you, invest in this connection. There could be some waiting going on, but I feel like this person is just toxic. They may have told you they need more time in the recent past. Yeah, they're toxic when it comes to relationships. For some of you, they were in a full-blown relationship somewhere else. The devil in the two of cups. <clears throat> if you're sure that this person was not involved already, I feel like they have some unhealthy attachments to sex, alcohol, drugs, binge-watching, gambling unhealthy attachments vices they're very toxic but they're obsessing over reconnecting with you getting back together in a relationship with you they want to partner up with you and they're obsessed they are obsessed over you all right let's get some messages for capricorn what's coming through for capricorn Rejected. Who's coming through for a Capricorn? 
Capricorn, Sun on the Rising, Trapped, Bisexual, Praying, Divine Feminine, one more, Jezebel, and at the bottom of the deck, you're pouring into yourself more, you're focusing on you, your self-love, your self-care, you're focusing on your health here, I feel like you and this person are mirroring each other. You're matching each other's energies. I feel like your person, you rejected them. Okay, somebody tried to trap your person. I feel like this person is unsure of their sexuality. They're keeping secrets from you that they're bisexual in the closet on the DL. This person needs to pray. They need healing. Yeah. I feel like you're keeping the faith. You keeping the faith in God. Okay, you could be doing a lot of meditating. Yeah, this is you, Divine Feminine, or there's a Divine Feminine connected to you. Who's a Jezebel spirit? Okay, somebody was a gold digger or just was focused on money. Or this, this is somebody that would do anything for money. Mm. Okay. What's going on? What else is going on with Capricorn? Psycho. Matt Reed. Tarot card readings. What else? Wingman. What else? Queen V. One more for Capricorn. STD. At the bottom of the deck. Childhood wounds. So you or both of y'all, you and your person or your person could have suffered from some childhood wounds. Okay, your person has suffered from some childhood wounds, some bullying, sexual abuse, physical abuse, toxic parents, abandonment. Well, let's get into this energy. You see this person as someone who's a crazy ex obsessed with you and won't let go. You may have been married to this person or this person is already married. But I feel like you're getting tarot card readings on them. They're getting tarot card readings on you too. They have a wingman, somebody here who they always hang around, a best friend, a partner in crime. Someone that always covers for them. Someone that always covers up their dirt. Yeah, this person may have gotten an STD. Could have been from another man. Okay, because this person is bisexual. So if they slept with another man, a man may have given them an STD. Or they may have slept with several different people and caught an STD. But male or female, I'm seeing you're showing up as a boss. Secure, confident, and career focused. Okay, you're just focusing on your work and career right now. Because I feel like this childhood wound is affecting this person's relationship. I feel like this person sabotaged. They sabotaged this connection that they have with you. Fairy tale. Karma. Living in the moment. Reckless. Ghosted. One more. One more for Capricorn. Health. If this person has given you an STD, it may have shattered you guys. Or this person's world is being shattered here because they have an STD. Okay. Hmm. I feel like this person's world's also shattered too because they may have lost a loved one a long time ago. Could have been their mother or their father. Stepfather, stepmother, godmother, godfather, whatever. Alright. If this person has given you an STD, please go get checked out at your local Planned Parenthood or your local uh, doctor's office or your local OBGYN clinic. Okay, you just want to be sure that you're taking care of you because I do see you more focused on your health. So I feel like you are getting some checkups. You're eating more healthy food, drinking water, fruits and vegetables. You're caring about your um, wellness, your well-being. I'm seeing you working out. I'm seeing you taking care of your mental health too. You're just living a very healthy lifestyle or you're trying to. Because, yeah, this got you living in the moment. Yeah, you're living in the moment, taking care of yourself, being career focused, confident. Yeah. What I'm seeing here is that this person causes an illusion. They're a trickster. They're very phony. 
Okay, they're going to be receiving some karma. Because I feel like they, they're they reckless with sex. They're reckless when it comes to sex. They just sleep with whoever, whenever, however. As long as they got legs and they could pop open, they'll sleep with this person. They'll sleep with a cat, a dog, or a sheep if they had to. They'll sleep with a homeless man or a homeless person. Okay? And I feel like they're going to get karma. They're receiving karma and they could be why they ghosted you. Okay? It's just too on and off. They come and then they go. They're hot and then they're cold. They're de de very detached. <sighs> let's get some more, um, let's get some love situations in here. See what Spirit has to say for you guys. Capricorn. Children. Freedom. Lessons. Anything else coming through for Capricorn? Beautiful, I just want you to know you're my favorite girl. Oh yeah, there's something about you. Beautiful, I just want you to know you're my favorite girl. Unvalued. Your love is starting to haunt this person, okay? I feel like it's all around them. They're having telepathic experiences. They feel like they're seeing you at the corner of their eye. Or they're hearing music that reminds you of them. Or they feel your energy. Or they smell your perfume or your cologne here, okay? They feel like they cannot escape this connection that they have with you. You may have children with this person. They could be children involved here if you don't have children with them. But somebody could have been using a child as a pawn. Or staying for the kids. This person didn't want any commitment. They didn't want anything serious. They wanted to be free. They didn't want to lose their freedom. They wanted to be independent, happy, and single. So I feel like you freed yourself from this person. You let this person go free. And now you're independent, happy, and single. And I feel like you're not ready to commit to anything right now because you're learning some lessons. There's some love lessons that needed to be learned. You're shifting your perspective. Or it's time for this person to shift their perspective. And it's time for this person to raise their vibration because they're not... Um, at the vibration they need to be they're not at the frequency they're not operating from the frequency they need to operate they could have some fear when it comes to relationships so it's time for them to shift their perspective and raise that vibration they are very intimidated by your beauty your beauty stands out this physical attraction but I feel like this person unvalues you they take you for granted there's an unequal give and take where you're not feeling appreciated by this person you're not happy with the way they treat you. What's coming through for Capricorn? New love. Cut out. Unrequited. Divorce. Love offer. Pregnancy. Let's get into this energy. At the bottom of the deck, there's a wish coming true for you. A wish fulfillment. Dream boy, dream girl. All that you ever wanted is coming in for you. And you clicked on this reading to get clarification of that, to get clarity, to find out what's going on in this person's life or your life. Or they're getting tarot card readings on you. Or you could be getting tarot card readings to find out there's going to be a new love. Okay, there is going to be a new love. Okay, I'm seeing a love offer being sent out as soon as you cut out this person. Because I feel like the relationship was very unrequited. You could be pregnant by this person or you could be divorcing this person. If you're not divorcing this person, this person may have been married. If they're not married, this relationship was very complicated. Okay, you're cutting ties with someone. You're in separation with them now. You're leaving before it gets worse and you're cutting your losses because it was just one-sided. There was not enough attraction or enough love to keep this relationship going. The feelings are not mutual. And I feel like there's someone better coming through for you. You may have already met a new love interest. And you're letting go of this ex. As soon as you let go of this ex, I'm seeing a romantic love offer coming in or you're sending this out. A romantic gift. This person may want to get you a romantic gift. They may talk to you about wanting kids or if you have any kids or they may want to start a family with you and get you pregnant. Okay. If you're not pregnant, you're giving birth to something. Let's get some of the outcome. What's the outcome? What is the outcome? 
unexpected lessons in love. You might be shocked by how all this turns around. Sex, mixed feelings, finality, dating at the bottom of the deck, chaser. There's some shocking events, something you didn't expect, something you didn't see coming. Something that's coming in towards you that you're going to be very surprised about. Okay, this is something that does not usually happen. So it's very unpredictable. And I feel like you're going to be shocked by how all this turns around. This person, I feel like there's a bond filled with lust between you and them. They act on their sexual, sexual desires. You may have questioned if this was love or lust. Okay, they may have been chasing after you for sex. Or this is somebody that you were chasing after. This person has low self-esteem, validation of self-worth, and abandonment issues. Mommy and daddy issues. And I feel like they give you mixed feelings. This person is very indecisive. Their feelings are conflicted. And you're unsure of this relationship. Your feelings may have been conflicted. I feel like you're just ending this relationship permanently. No more chances. You're saying goodbye to the old. You're ready to start dating. You may have met a new love interest. Or you're just ready to get over this person already. Okay. Let's get into your Kipper. What does Kipper have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Wealthy man. Gift. Change. You may have a child with this person. Main female. Main male. One more. Message. Imprisonment. This person is concerned about you. They're thinking a lot about you. They're also concerned about a lot of other things too. They may be 33 years old or older. Well, that's your age. Alright, I feel like this is somebody you were in a relationship with. You may have been married to this person for some of y'all. Or y'all was in a committed relationship for a while. Alright. But I feel like This person may be a wealthy man, or you are, and they want to give you a gift. Or this gift could be you becoming a wealthy man. Okay, this person that you were married to or in a connection with could be a wealthy man. But I'm seeing them wanting to buy you a gift. They want things to change between the two of you. They're going to send you a letter, okay, or a message. They could be in jail. Or they just feel stuck, trapped, and blocked. Okay, you may be moving, relocating to a different city, state, country, or a town. What else is coming through for Capricorn? Despair. Distance. Adjudication. Death. Coffin. Courtship. You may have to, you may have had to get the authorities involved in you guys' relationship. I feel like you may have had to call the police on this person. Maybe that's why they're locked up. Maybe they did something to you. Or maybe they put their hands on you and you called the cops and got this person locked up. But I feel like they're in despair. They're not doing good in their life right now. Nothing is going good in their life. They're not getting no job. They're drinking. Okay, they could be losing money. Or just working at a place where they don't like. But I'm seeing it in despair because you're at a distance from them. And they may want to travel to see you. I feel like you've taken this person to court. You may have divorced them. This could be an order of protection or a restraining order. This could also be some legal fees going on here if there's a divorce. This could be... um. You go into court for property or this person has to go to court for like criminal. If you have a legal situation going on here, 
it's gonna go in your favor and i feel like it's going to it's going to end it's about to come to an end this legal situation is about to come to an end i feel like you are you ended a relationship with this person who you were in a connection with yeah i feel like um You're putting a relationship to rest. That's what I see. Your age or your person's age may be 19 or over, 30 or over, 36 or over, 32 or older, 29 or older. If you have a child with this person, your child's age may be 4 years old, 7 years old, 9 years old, 17 years old, 13 years old. Could be one month old, one week old, one years old, one hour old, two years old, two hours old, two weeks old, two months old. Or if you don't have any children, those could be your angel numbers. Also, the number 22 is here. You're making the right decision and you're on the right path. Could be 35 or older. But I feel like there's a spiritual transition, there's a spiritual awakening you're about to go through. Past love is showing up here. They want to take you out. They want to wine and dine you. They want to take you out to a restaurant. Take you somewhere fancy. Take you somewhere nice. They want to be friends. They want to work with you. They may be giving you a gift. Or trying to surprise you. What is your friends giving you a gift? Or a present? Or there's an opening here. Because you're networking and working and collaborating with people. So there could be an opening. But I'm seeing some gifts coming through. There's someone that is very focused on you. This is very intense here, okay? Or you could be a brunette female. Or you are involved or connected to a brunette female. There's true love coming in. This could be also true love coming through from like your children, your family, your friends. You're a very mature woman, but you could be meeting a mature woman, someone older than you. How you gonna know who this person is? They may have children. Okay, I, I saw a death too. Somebody's world was shattered because they lost someone. I'm so sorry, you guys, if you lost someone. I saw a funeral. I don't know whose funeral it is, but it's somebody that you know. Could be someone that like an elderly. Or maybe someone passed a long time ago, I'm hearing. Somebody you want to hear from is going to reach out to you. It could be somebody online that you've met. Or somebody wants to talk to you. It could be somebody you have a family with. They're going to call you or text you some kind of way. But it's short term. If this is a new person, it could be short term. Or it started fast and ended fast. Yeah, because it was a long distance relationship. And if this is not a new person, it could be the past person. It was short lived, short term. And you had to distance yourself from this person. But I do see that somebody wants to come travel towards you. You're focused on work, though, work and career. You're not ready for anything right now, commitment. You're just being single, you know, free. There's a sense of lightness here, but somebody wants a serious relationship with you. They want a marriage with you, a partnership. They want to come in and court you. They want to travel towards you. Okay, this person may have a lot of money. They may buy you an expensive piece of jewelry here, okay? It's a new love coming through for y'all. A soulmate. Or oh, this could be this past person who's trying to show up in some new energy. So you guys, that's it. That's all the messages that I have for you guys for today. If you like this reading, if you watch this reading to the end, if any of these messages in this reading resonate with you guys, and if you want to see me do more readings like this for you, or any more readings for Capricorn period, okay, don't forget before you leave to like this video up for me right now. Subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to my channel already. Turn your post notifications on, guys, to all, A-L-L, so you won't miss any readings that I do upload for you. And every time I drop a reading for you guys, you'll always be notified. I love you guys so, so much. Until next time.
Bye, Capricorn. I'll see y'all in the next reading.